Utah Senator Orrin Hatch will retire at the end of the year. And this morning, our John Keller takes a closer look at his farewell message on Capitol Hill. Good morning. You know the old saying, actions speak louder than words. But in the U.S. Senate, where real actions are rarely taken, we're forced to look at words as a measure of political sincerity. And with that, I give you a taste of the farewell speech of Utah Senator Orrin Hatch. Indeed, my heart is heavy because it aches for the times when we actually lived up to our reputation as the world's greatest deliberative body. It longs for the days in which Democrats and Republicans would meet on middle ground rather than retreat to partisan trenches. Yes, aren't we all nostalgic for that? And Senator Hatch didn't stop there, calling for a return to old standards of civility and respect for the law. Yet just hours before, a CNN reporter got this response when he asked Hatch about the president being implicated in potential campaign finance fraud in the Michael Cohen case. The Democrats will do anything to hurt this president, anything. And what happened before he was elected president, you know, is, is one thing. But since he's been elected, the economy's done well. Our country's moving ahead. We're in better shape than we were before he became president. And I think we ought to judge him on that basis. But this is not the Democrats. This is the Southern District of New York, the U.S. Attorney. I mean, that's what's making this allegation. Do you think he's a Republican, do you? Well, he's been appointed by the president. A, he's been appointed by the president. Okay, but... Uh, I, I don't care. I don't care about the facts, about potential criminality, about civil behavior that respects the law. It seems all he really cares about is the partisanship he was about to decry on his way out the door. In this case, it seems words do speak louder than actions. Talk back to me via email at keller at wbztv.com or reach out on Twitter at keller at large.